hello everybody, um, this is Rosa here, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to use Twixter effectively. Um, so that'll include like my settings, my tips personally on Twixter to make it look that little bit better. And um, overall I hope you will learn how to use Twixter effectively, <laughs> which is my aim, to teach you how to do that. So I'm going to try and make this quick, so I've uh, prepared some stuff already. The song is... It Ends Tonight by The All American Rejects, so I personally like this song. I might actually use it in a future edit because I'm, <laughs> I'm actually enjoying it right now. But basically I've lined up the sync, I've got a marker down already to save time, and um, I've got a clip here, I believe it's from Ike Falcons because it's actually really good. I'm actually going to turn the preview down a bit just to make everything a little bit easier. Uh, so yeah. I'm just gonna try and find the actual, the actual shot. Um, yeah, sorry if, if it's a bit laggy and all. My computer is actually not that amazing. So you know, if you've got a spare computer lying around, it's actually amazing. I'd appreciate it. But yeah, here we go. Look, see, see the muzzle fire, muzzle flash. Sorry, in there. So I'm just gonna split it right there and move it up to it. So there we go. That's in sync. I would play. It. I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to render it out at the end, and I'll show you guys the finished thing. Um, right. So, Twixter. Um, this is my tip. I think it's a really good tip. It works. It works really well. Okay. But first, I'm going to, have to help you do that. Um, right. So there's the shot, and the scope. It's coming out the scope. So my trick is to find three frames that are real like the gun in that doesn't move too much okay so there's three frames I'm gonna split it there and if you can see that the scope doesn't move a lot okay so that means that when you're actually doing Twixter you don't get that horrible ghost and shit all over it I hate that I don't like that in edits disgusting so I'm just going to move that other bit out and from that bit that I moved out to the end of those three or four frames uh, I'm going to create a little highlighting thing I don't really know what it's called uh, right click insert text media okay this is so that um, when I render it out what's going to happen is it's going to be the, f the frames plus this. So when I put it into the After Effects and I do Twixter, what's going to happen is I'm going to put all my settings in and then I just play about with the speed until this bit that says sample text is gone. And when that's gone, I know that I've got the exact perfect amount for Twixter. To Twixter, sorry. And it's the length that I want it and it's all going to work well. Okay, so look, um, this is another bit, my settings. When I do Twixter, oops, um, I render in AVI purely for the fact that sometimes I like to use that um, color preserve thing in After Effects. And I'll show you how to do that as well. Because I've noticed before the clip has either gotten darker or it's gotten lighter. And you don't want that, you want it all to be the same color. So, um, here we go, I'm just going to put it into this folder. I've got a lot of shit on my desktop. It's not really good, is it? Um, I guess I should show you my settings. That would work quite well. So, uh, if you want to go to... Oops. Right. You want to go down to AVI. It's down at the bottom here. It's above WAV and below W64. Video for Windows. And you want, you'll want to go to default template. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to go here. Um, and I'll show you my settings, and you can you can copy them down. It's cool. What I'll do is actually uh, I'll make a little link to just these, and you can see them for yourself. So um, if you can see them now, feel free to go ahead and copy. You want to include video, frame size, use project settings, which should be 1 to 80 by 720. Your frame rate should be 59.940. Field order will want to be lower field first. Pix uh, uh, pixel aspect ratio should be 1 video format uncompressed now I'm fairly sure that if you had the settings to compress it the file size would be smaller 
Unfortunately, I don't, and I wish I did. But it's going to create a huge file, so make sure you've got probably like a, a gig, <laughs> a gigabyte free, and that might be a lot to ask. So look around for some compressed settings. But your quality will want to be high anyway. But you can't when it's un uncompressed, you can't change that, and it'll automatically be at probably a hundred. Uh, interleave every naught seconds. I don't know what that does. So, <laughs> um, I don't tick this box at the second to last one. Don't really know what it means, so I don't want to play about with it. Don't really know what this means, but it's ticked anyway. So yeah, audio. I'm going to include audio. Audio format wants to be PCM uncompressed. The sample rate wants to be forty-four thousand one hundred. Bit depth 16 channels stereo. Uh, project video rendering quality we will obviously want to be best. Um, <laughs> I'm not rendering 3D, so use project settings. And once you've got them, come up to the top here where it says template, and you'll type in the name of it, the your template, and save template. Okay, so I'm going to click OK. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and when when I've rendered it, I'll unpause it and carry on with the tutorial. So um, I'll see you guys in AAE uh, back soon. Oh, actually, wait, wait, wait. Got it a sec. Uh, a very important thing I forgot to do. Quite silly of me. Uh, I use this tool up here it's to select multiple things, and what I do is. I select the thing, right click, switches, get rid of that man, nah, maintain, <laughs> get rid of that man, maintain aspect ratio, and that does it for all of them basically, so it's quicker. And you want to go down to disable resample, that's really important because if you don't do that, then it'll ghost before you've even tried to twixter. So that's what disable resample does, I only learned that a while ago, I feel a bit of a noob for saying that, but okay. So I'm going to go back to the normal tool, and I will see you guys in After Effects. Hello again, uh, now I'm in After Effects. Um, I've got my clip in, I just called it 1, this is how I roll. Um, it's actually only 450 megabytes, but obviously the more clicks the, the bigger. Um, I just drag and drop, it makes composition the perfect length of your clip. It's easier. Uh, all the settings are the same as your clip. So if you rent it out 180, 720, it'll be that. Okay, this is what I'm talking about with the weird little colour changes if you don't do AVI and stuff. You have to file, project settings, and to be able to enable uh, colour preserve stuff, uh, colour man management, oh, if you look there, colour management, turn it on, set working space for value other than none. So um, I just use HDTV purely because it, it's just common sense, I guess. It, just, it seems like that would be the one to pick because it is HD setting. Uh, I don't bother with anything else. That's okay. Okay, so it's in. Pardon my uh, my cold. It's not good. But yeah, there it is. It's my clip. Uh, I want to go to effect. Go down to vision plugins. Twix the Pro 4.5. Right, here we go, these are my settings I guess. Um, your frame rate wants to be 59.94 because that's what the video is. Um, I like, I don't change anything else up to that obviously. But uh, image prep, I change it to contrast to edge enhancement. Now my friend Tom, he doesn't think it makes a difference, but I think it does. So I do it. Uh, main BG layer settings. I changed that down to 60, and yeah, I don't know about this frame blending stuff, so I don't actually bother with it, but uh, no, I, I didn't do it in my something new edit, so I don't I don't know. Maybe it is better. Comment if you think it's better. Try it with both. Right, anyway, back into here, could change the quality down whilst it, it does stuff. Just to a third to make it easier. Like I said, my computer's terrible. Anyway, gonna go right, press this button here, last frame, gonna go to the end, because that's how far we want Twixter to be. 
And this is where I start taking guests as a Twixter. Okay. Maybe the length of mine wasn't a good idea. Because it could be a lot. But I'm gonna just a good guess. I'm gonna go with five. And um wait for load, nothing. To make a difference, I'm gonna go to three. Oh go away. It's not good, is it? Shit. Oh god no. Sorry guys. Um Oh god, this is ruining it. I'm really sorry. Anyway, I'm gonna change it to three, it's loading. And it makes no difference. It's really slow. Um change speed to two. See what happens. Oh, oh, see? This is what I mean, okay? When that sample text bit is all gone, that's when you know you've done it. So this is where I'm gonna start going down in points. So I'm gonna go for one point nine. And what do we get? We don't get much of a difference. One point five. Still no difference, okay. Let's just make it one. Oh god. <clears throat> one point five. Because I think it's just like it just loaded it. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna leave it at one point five. And I'll skip to like one one second in. See it Twix looks quite clean. I know it's in like third quality but it looks pretty clean even in there. Okay, so um, that's my settings for Twixter. What I would do now is composition, add to render queue. Uh, if you go into lossless, this is where you can change the little bits of settings. Although I usually leave it all as it is, unless I want to put audio output. But for this, I uh, Twixtering, I don't need it because I'm not Twixtering sound. I'm just Twixtering video. So I'll press OK. Choose where I want to put it, which is uh, the output. Um this is very slow. Um no, not there. Go to the little folder I made just for you guys. Um put Twix. And I would just put I would name it one done, because it's the same file type. So if I went over that it would it would mess up. I would put one done and it would render it. Okay. But yeah, I uh, I'll see you guys back in Vegas after it's rendered. And I'll just finish off. Okay, guys. So we're uh, we're back in Vegas here, and I've got it here it's one done by AVI. So let's drag that in on a layer above. I'm gonna get rid of it. Don't worry about it. Um, delete those two layers. It fits in perfectly. It's the bit that we want to. For the length of time we want to be tweaked for. So in my opinion, it's worked rather well. Just a very simple there. And main aspiration. And uh, that's it. So uh, I'm going to add color correction and render it out. Might put an effect in that too. Just just basic effects. So uh, I'll show you what it looks like after. So uh, if you like this tutorial, please like it, favorite it, share it. I do appreciate all likes and comment what you want to see next, because I will do more of these if you wish. Thanks, guys. Goodbye.